Welcome to Gunner 411. My name is Jennifer. Today I want to give a general overview of gun shows. There are a lot of misconceptions about how gun shows function, and there's even quite a bit of negativity surrounding gun shows simply because people don't have all the information. I'm located in Texas, so the information I provide will be according to Texas, and there may be some variations in your home state. It's always important to check your state's laws when looking into anything related to guns. Uh, people talk about a gun show loophole. Technically, isn't really a loophole, but a term people use to make it seem like dangerous things occur at gun shows. Uh, it's been heavily politicized. There are vendors at gun shows that pay for their tables. However, the truth of the matter is that gun shows also provide a centralized location for private individuals that are interested in selling their firearms to be in a place where there is a large quantity of buyers. An individual wanting to sell a firearm can walk around with it and get asked if it's for sale, or even just make themselves a sign and let people solicit them for information about what's for sale. Uh, this is what people think is a loophole. It really isn't. It just facilitates private party transfers. If there is anything resembling a loophole, I would have to say it is that not all vendors at gun shows are federal firearms licensees. Non-licensed individuals can get tables at gun shows and buy and sell firearms. While it is legal for an individual to sell off a personal collection, when people are buying and selling with the intent of making a profit, they're supposed to be licensed. ATF guidance states, as a general rule, you will need a license if you repetitively buy and sell firearms with the principal motive of making a profit. In contrast, if you only make occasional sales of firearms from your personal collection, you do not need to be licensed. I've got the ATF guidance linked in the description below. Essentially, if somebody is at a gun show um, regularly and they're buying and selling firearms, they're at risk of getting caught up by the ATF for dealing without a license. Um, another risk of dealing without a license is that non-licensed individuals do not have the ability to conduct background checks, which can result in firearms ending up in the hands of individuals that cannot legally purchase. Uh, federal firearms license starts out at $150. Depends on what activities uh, you're going to be doing, and the paperwork's not difficult. The more people circumvent the federal regulations, the more we're going to get looked at as an industry. You don't like the regulations? That's okay. However, we need to follow them and then work to change them. Uh, that's why organizations like the NRA, uh, NSSF, and all those other gun organizations are great because they lobby for us. If you're thinking about attending a gun show as a customer or a vendor, I'll be doing additional videos about those experiences, um, what to make sure you have with you, and what to expect from both sides of the table. If you like the content and want me to be able to keep up, uh, please show your support by subscribing and turning on notifications for future videos. Thank you.